Hello. This is Uncle John John Reads, Totally Improvised Bedtime Stories. I do not read stories. I only look at the pictures, storybooks, and make up the stories as I go along. This is a near ASMR podcast. It is for children and parents who have a hard time going to bed. Some of my humor is for the children, and I hope some of my humor is for the parents. My stories don't always make sense. Sometimes I don't finish stories. The only purpose is for the little ones to fall asleep. And maybe I can help mom and dad fall asleep too. I don't know the stories before I tell them. Nothing I say will be bad. Some parents might have strong opinions about certain topics. This is also a live stream, so I will sometimes stop and talk to viewers. I will tell this story twice for the podcast. Sound is very important for story time. Now, I will turn on white noise. Now, I will turn on music. Now, I will adjust the sound so it is comfortable. It is time for me to tell a story. Tonight's story is called Baseball ABC. And if you know your ABCs, it looks a little like this. I'm going to read to you the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, something. That was fun. There's also little a, little b, little c, little d, little e, little f. Now, the little ones The boys and the girls, their eyes should be getting heavy. If you don't go to sleep, mommy and daddy not give you another brother or sister. Next picture. A in baseball means, in this picture, I think it is a little girl. I think that's great. I think it's great 
that in baseball, boys and girls can play baseball together. And the A, A for baseball means A is awesome. Now, B, B stands for baseball, also stands for bat, bat. Bat is the stick you use to hit the ball in baseball. Bat is also a flying mouse. You know, in German, another word for bat is der Flader mouse. It has the word mouse in it. It literally means flying mouse. That's what bats are. That's why you shouldn't be afraid of bats. Well, the animal bat. But if someone is running, chasing you with a baseball bat, then you should be. C. C is for something about baseball, like you have to call a strike, right? Looking at this picture of a of a catcher who is not wearing any protection and he's standing right next to the batter who is I don't know, this doesn't seem like a very safe game. The little boy holding the bat is standing so close to the catcher. If he's not careful, he's gonna he's gonna really hit the catcher with the baseball bat. That's not a good idea. Again, a strange way, I kind of think that the little boy with the baseball bat is the is the kind of the girl, maybe, in the first picture. And also, everyone is wearing a sweater. I don't know. Why are they wearing a sweater? Very confused. D. So many Ds. D in baseball can be dugout, right? There's a dugout. That is where the players can rest when they're tired, sleepy, and it's time for them to get some rest. E. E. Baseball. E is, uh... I don't know what the E is. That's really confusing to me. There's a little boy who seems to be wearing a strange kind of sweater. It doesn't button straight. And he's wearing a, 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 a red and white cap that doesn't even look like a cap. It looks like a pancake on his head. That's not very nice. Why did they make him wear a pancake? Also, he seems to be rushing or sweeping the grass on the baseball field that, that doesn't seem like it's very fun to do that's not very nice f f in baseball f is what you will get only play baseball don't do your homework or your or your class at school really need to do your homework and you need to study but you also need to play sports too but be careful don't do your homework or get an F in this picture there is a, a little boy playing baseball and he's wearing a blue and white you know and there is another oh there's another girl there's a girl playing baseball too and she's wearing red and white and She's, I think she's standing at the home plate, the home plate, but the home plate is tiny. It's like a, it's a little tiny little square. I don't understand. I don't ever understand this baseball game, but I do think it's cool that boys and girls can play together. G, G is for golly. In this picture, the, the kid in the red and the white strange buttoned up sweater 
is running for home plate. Maybe they're gonna, maybe he's gonna help his team win. Oh my gosh, I don't know. H. H is for home run. That's what I see here in this picture. The blue team is waiting to catch the ball. I think the red team hit it really, really hard. And it's going into the sky. It's going up and up. It's going out really high. But maybe in those days, uh, the balls went so far, you can't see them anymore. That's why it's a home run. After this game, everyone can run home, can go to sleep, fall asleep, just like you are. You've fallen asleep. I hope you're falling asleep. I hope you're really tired. I hope your eyes are getting heavy. I hope they are. I. I is for I'm getting sleepy too. And I think maybe your mom and your dad are getting sleepy too. This picture, it seems like the, the team with the blue and the white, team with the red and the white, they seem to be a pretty happy. Uh, looks like everybody won. Everybody's the winner. That's good. Ah, good for them. Good for them. Now who else is a winner? I'm going to tell you who's a winner. In the early days of baseball, there was a really, really good baseball player. In fact, he used to play for one of my favorite teams, the Detroit Tigers. His name was Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson was a really cool baseball player played for the Detroit Tigers, and he was the first African-American baseball player in the major leagues. And he was playing, he was playing baseball in a time when they didn't let boys and girls play together. If boys and girls can't play together, then also players who didn't look the same, it's very difficult for them to play together too. But Jackie Robinson, he was great because he showed all of America that it was okay for different kinds of people, people who look different, could all play the same sport and everybody could have a good time together. I think that's really, really cool. I think that's really nice. You know what else is really nice? It's the letter J. J for Jackie Robinson. Yay! Now in this picture, it looks like the boy in the blue and the white uniform is trying to steal a base. But the boy red and the white uniform, uh, he is not having any of that. So he is making sure that the other boy doesn't steal the base and maybe sell it for, for money so he can buy candy. That's not a good idea. That's not good. K. K stands for cool game. Because that's what I see. This picture, the, the boy in the red and the white uniform is complimenting the other boy in the blue and the white uniform. They're in the middle of their game and they're saying, hey, got good game. We're all having fun. I think we're all having fun too. L. L stands for a uh, lucky guy. He's, this is, a, this is a picture of a boy. And this is another of the red and white team. The red and white team, and he's standing out there in the field. Oh yeah, L, left field. There's a left field, it's a right field, baseball, there's also a middle field. No, it's not middle field, it's center field. I think it's center field, center field. Yeah, no, I never, I never played center field when I was a boy. I always played like, uh, I think it was left field and uh, the coach would make me stand way, 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 way back way 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 back by the fence and i would just stand there and i would just like uh, stand there and i would like 
look up at the, the clouds sometimes and I would say, oh, that's a, is that a unicorn? Uh, that cloud over there, he looks like an upside down house. It's like an upside down house. Uh, that's that's kind of crazy. I've never seen an upside down house. Yeah. Anyway, M. M in baseball stands for mitt. You need a mitt. Mitts are special, special gloves that baseball players have to wear when they want to catch a ball. So in baseball, the batter will hit the ball, and it'll go really high, go really far, and the catcher, not the catcher, but, but, the, but the baseball players who want to catch the ball, they want to catch the ball, they need a mitt, mitt to protect them, and also so they can catch a ball. In this picture, there's a boy who's supposed to catch a ball, but he's not wearing a mitt. He's not wearing a mitt. That doesn't sound very safe. Wow, what a what a crazy kind of baseball game, where the the baseball uh, the bases are really really tiny, and uh, the teams have to wear different kind of uniforms, but but the colors match. So there's a a red team and a blue team. That's okay. And they seem to be wearing sweaters. That doesn't seem comfortable at all. And they don't have mitts. N. N stands for no. No, that that can't be very safe. Don't wear don't wear any protection if you're catching the ball. Can't catch the ball easily because you're not wearing a mitt. That's not nice. O. O is Oh no! Or if someone catches the ball, the the batter is out. It's when they're out. Out also means lights out. Or are, are the lights out in your bedroom? Are the lights out so you can get some sleep? You can sleep well. Hope you're almost sleeping. Hope you're getting sleepy. If the lights are out. P. P. Well, in this picture, there's a boy standing in the middle of the baseball field, and he looks very smart. He's going to throw the ball really, really fast. So that means he must be the pitcher. He's a pitcher. Q. The pitcher is ready to throw the ball, but he's really, really quick. Really, really clever. Those are two Q words. Quick and clever. Both with Q. And he's going to throw the ball to another base. Oh, wow. This is so exciting. And you know what's even more exciting? Is the letter R. And S. In R, there is a boy from the blue team. And he's running. He's running away from the other players. But he doesn't seem to be wearing a uniform. I, I, he looks like he's wearing pajamas. He's wearing blue and white pajamas. What kind of a baseball game is this? They're wearing sweaters. They're wearing pajamas. They don't wear mitts to catch the balls. There's no safety or anything. This is kind of a crazy baseball game, I think. S, S is for... Um, Something, something, because in this picture, uh, the red team is running away from something. That's right, something, something, running away. That's a good idea. If you see something you don't like, you should run away. T, T is for, uh, uh, I don't know, what? In this picture, there's a boy from the red team who's standing on the third base, maybe? He's standing next to a base. He doesn't seem very happy. Then, in the bottom picture for the letter U, baseball U, is a man, not a boy, a man wearing a very fancy suit. It seems to be very hot because it's all, it's all buttoned up. And he's wearing, no, he's carrying, he's carrying an umbrella, which is, how does that make sense? Because it's, it's not raining. 
In fact, it's kind of a sunny day. It's blue skies. But that's what the U stands for. U stands for umbrella. And this strange man is holding an umbrella. It seems to be a baseball fan. All right. He. He shows a picture of the blue team and the red team and they're celebrating and there's a there's people who are throwing their hats everyone is happy this is the kind one of those games where uh, it doesn't matter what happens because everyone's a winner both teams won both teams can celebrate that's really really cool except in this picture there's also a, a boy who I think it looks like he he's not wearing shoes and he's trying to he's trying to stand on his hands like maybe he forgot he was a person maybe he thought he was like one of those cat people from last week's bedtime story or one of the pig people from from two weeks ago maybe he listened to this bedtime story and he got really confused and he thought oh I'm a pig person or maybe I'm a cat person He's trying to walk on his hands. That's not very smart. And V, V is they're all trying to make the letter V with their hands, but they're only using one arm. Can't make a V with a one arm. You have to use two arms to make a V. W, W is for uh, something. It really is. In this picture, there's a strange man again with the umbrella in the suit. Actually, I'm going to tell you something. In this picture, it's kind of like the, you know how I talked about how the, the pig people and the cat people seem to be because they and the horses and the carriage and the buggy people were all the same size? Well, in this picture, all of the children playing baseball are the same size as the man in the strange suit in the umbrella. He must be a small man. I didn't I didn't want to say that. Because that doesn't sound very nice. That's not very nice to say someone is someone is uh as short as children. But you know, there's there's many short people who are very successful. Look at uh Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito is a very successful, very funny actor. He's also a very kind person. He helps lots of people. He's really short. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is like four feet tall. He's, he's really short. But if you look at his movies, they try to make him look like he's really tall. He's taller than other people. That's because he stands on boxes. W for wow Tom Cruise is really really small but that's okay because he's successful and that comes up to uh, almost the last letter but we're not done yet because I wanted to remind everyone in this in this baseball game anyone could play and anyone is a winner and that reminds me of the angels in the outfield Angels in the Outfield. Uh, that was a Tom Hanks movie. And it had uh, Rosie O'Donnell. And it even had uh, Madonna. That was kind of neat. And okay, let me tell you the story of the Angels in the Outfield. Angels. Angels are really nice people who live in the stars. And sometimes they come down and they visit us on Earth to make us feel better for example they can help make us feel sleepy when it's time for us to go to bed this time to go you should be really sleepy right now i should be closed you should be listening to my voice telling you the story about the angels in the outfit wow it was a fun move i really liked it some people they didn't like it they thought it was kind of silly but those people are wrong and i'm right it was a fun movie but i do i do have to tell you the truth 
it doesn't hold up very well. It's got a lot of the gags and jokes that uh, are kind of neat this day and age, and I don't think people would like uh, a, you know, Angels in the Outfield. Actually, you know what? It is an Angels in the Outfield. It's, it's a league of their own. I was confusing two totally different movies. That's really cool. Wait, it is a league of their own, right? A league of their own. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the Tom Hanks movie. A league of their own is the Tom Hanks baseball movie where that's the one that has Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna. Yeah, that's the one. Angels in the Outfield is a totally different movie. To be honest with you, that one is not very good. Angels in the Outfield is not a very good movie. But angels do do exist. They are real. I think I saw one the other day. I wasn't really sure. But it might have just been a really nice lady at the supermarket. But anyway, I was talking about A League of Their Own. A League of Their Own. League of Their Own is a Tom Hanks movie. It was made a long time ago. And yeah, I do remember. It had some jokes that were not not very good for today. Today, I don't know. I don't think it would be a very good movie to watch today. Oh, so why am I talking about them? Well, because the movie, A League of Their Own, is based on a true story. During World War II, there weren't any baseball games. And there wasn't any baseball because all of the baseball players were men. And the men had to go off to fight in World War II. But Americans, people all around the world, they missed baseball. So what they did is they got women to come and play baseball. And the movie is the story about the season of American baseball that was played only by women. I think that's cool. Now it is time to come to the end of the story. Baseball ABCs. Last three letters of the ABCs? Well, it is X, Y, something something and in this picture they show uh, a score book not sure what a score book is for uh, I mean of course it's to 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 keep a record of the the score for the teams but as we as we have clearly seen in the pictures both teams can win in this in this game it doesn't matter because everybody wins that's kind of cool. But that's not a very good lesson in team building. You need to develop a, a, a competitive sense. It's okay to be competitive. And you need to learn that not everybody wins. You can't always win. It's no fun if you play a game and you are always winning. You don't learn how to get better at playing a game if you're always winning. You have to lose sometimes. And another thing is, you have to learn how to lose. And you have to learn how to win too. But also, you have to learn how to lose. It's, it's good to know how to be a polite and respectful and confident person when you lose. And, and not cry and yell and shout and make lots of noise. You don't want to do that. And the same thing is true if you're a winner. You shouldn't be... You should be polite and respectful. But you should also celebrate. It's okay to celebrate if you win. Just don't be... Just don't be bad about it. And don't be bad about it if you lose. So don't cry if you lose. And don't, and don't make bad jokes to people if you lose. Just lose and tell the winning team tell the, your friends who won the game hey hey good game good game 
congratulations. Uh, but but be careful, because I'm going to practice. And next week, I might win. So be ready for me. That's what you should do. And now we have another picture that teaches us other ways to say our ABCs. For example, A stands for Arthur. I don't know what Arthur has to do with baseball. I don't understand. B stands for ball. Okay, that makes sense. C. This is a very long list, and it tells us the whole story of, of baseball ABCs. C stands for catcher. I guess, yeah, sure, I guess so. It also stands for, for cat. It also stands for car. Yeah, you ever see a, a baseball car? No, I haven't, but maybe there is one. D stands for diamond. Oh, that's right. That's right. Baseballs have diamonds. The baseball field looks like a square that's turned upside down. We call that a diamond. Anyway, this list is kind of boring. I'm going to go to Z. X, Y, Z. X stands for score mark. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Wait, time out, time out. X stands for score mark? What? X? I don't know. Y stands for youth. Okay, sure. Kids, kids play. Kids play baseball. And Z stands for Zeno. What? What? No, I don't understand. Zeno, Zen, Zeno, Zeno, Zen, Zeno. What? What? What is a Zeno? I don't know what that is. It doesn't matter. Because right now, I hope you're asleep. It's very important that you're asleep right now. Now I'm going to play closing video.